hurt, man. Like it's a it's a it's another level. Yeah, with Travis Scott's on it's stage. Like, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not like the guy that got like, you know, I had a backup dancers. I ain't got the drummers and that. No, I'm all about the blood. You know, we got to turn up. The you blood. Know, all about rage. <laughs> blood, blood. Just like the, Who's bleeding on stage? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not bleeding, but the fans are like <laughs> I feel you. giving their bodies. So right? it's like this. We just gotta be. A Just saw that, right? Y'all heard what he said. Let's talk about it. Now I hear people on YouTube rambling about how it ain't Travis Scott fault, how they should blame Rock Nation, or whoever. And this is why I come to disagree in that. How can you blame Rock Nation when this, when this man? said what he just said at that radio station saying like he wanted blood he want his fans to turn up came right out of his mouth and when he jumped in the crowd and one of his performances I think he was at that event somebody must have took one of his belongings he was like get that fool get that fool trying to like you know initiate trying to start a riot you know I don't know if it was at that same event, but it was one of his events. But it's the energy and the things that he say to get people to react in a crazy way. And that crazy way led to eight people being dead and some injured. So yeah, I blame Travis Scott. He said the shit. He started the whole thing. He spoke that energy out and it was received. Blaming no damn Rock Nation. Rock Nation wasn't talking for him and saying all the things that he was saying. That man said that shit. Oh, yeah. All right, too many. That man said that shit. And I'm not finna sit over here and, you know, sit up there and lie and act like it wasn't his fault. It was. It was. Hey. He said that shit. Let's just be clear. On public document. You seen the video I just I just I played before this. And I'm gonna play it again at the end. So Travis Scott should be held accountable. And he looked like he ain't all the way there when he be performing. He looked like he be coked out too. I can't fuck with artists like that, man. I need my artists to be, you know, smoke a little weed. If they don't smoke a little weed, leave it just at that. No extra shit, no pill popping, no coke, just a little weed. If not weed, that's even better. A sober mentality leads to great results. Only people that don't even believe in themselves feel like they got to get high or do some extra, you know, just to get out of great performance. Now, if you just like, you know, getting high anyway, before the music, before you even got into the to the um to the field that you pursuing and that's different because you was doing that shit before but if you started doing that right when your career started just to take the edge off that's weak because that isn't you because if it was you you would have been doing that before you even like got to the level that you at so yes Travis Scott is responsible for all that that happened at that event And shit like that should eat him up for the rest of his life, too. Because people going to have to learn the hard way, man. You can't just say some shit like that and you know that people strongly support you and that you have fans. And these fans will do anything for you, man. They worship the ground you walk on. Why? I don't fucking know. It don't make no damn sense for people to worship other people. Fans got to stop that shit. You can support their music, but still have a mind on your own and realize that you, fans, you, supporters, you, 
You have the power. When are y'all gonna get that through y'all damn head? Y'all got the power. Y'all paying for this shit. Y'all paying for his music. Y'all doing all that. Y'all the reason why he's still able to perform. Y'all putting the monies in his pocket. Start realizing that y'all got the power. They should be wanting to take a picture with y'all. They should be the one acting like the fan. Not y'all. But it's okay to show love. That's different. But stop worshiping these celebrities. Y'all, fan supporters, y'all are the celebrities. But just because they famous, that's the only difference. Just because they famous and they, you see them a lot on your social medias, on your TVs, that's the only difference. The fame which don't mean a damn thing. But this man spoke this energy out and it was received. And the call was never with eight people dying. And Travis Scott is responsible, not Rock Nation. So these YouTubers, y'all out here, y'all gotta stop sitting up there saying that shit like, Travis Scott is responsible like that man that spoke all this all this energy, all this bad energy out and the reason why things happened the way they happened. All of what came out of that man's mouth. Rock Nation didn't say that. They just did their part by putting up the event. That's their job. He's an artist. What the hell are they supposed to do? If they don't put up the event, how he gonna perform? Like y'all gotta stop this bullshit. Come on, man. A lot of these YouTubers, I listen to certain things that they say. And I'm not going to say their name because I ain't no clout chasing nigga. So I ain't going to say who you, what YouTuber that said that. Because I don't clout chase for no fucking views, no likes, or none of that shit. Sensei TV going to be popping regardless. So as long as you know where I stand, it's all that should matter. These celebrities, what they do when they can't, when when the lights and everything and the, and, the, and the, I guess the stress or whatever that come with it, they like to go to they like to go to drugs and drugs not meaning weed. Cause I don't even count weed as a drug. You know you get high. But I'm talking about the serious shit like cocaine. You know, mixed with a little bit of fentanyl, killing a lot of motherfuckers. That shit. And I bet you these celebs gonna wake up now. They gonna leave that fucking coke alone. I don't know what they gonna go to. But if that weed ain't strong enough, shh, ain't no telling. Shit is crazy, man. I'm sitting there listening to this man. When he was at that radio station, giving that interview for whoever that dude was at that radio station, you know, whatever. He's, you know, I looked into his eyes. It's like it was nothing there. You know, when you look into somebody's eyes, it's just like it's no soul, like it's nothing there. That's the, that's exactly what I saw when I looked at Travis Scott in that interview. I'm like, this man, like his soul is gone. It's like his pupils ain't even there, but it's there. It's like it's nothing there. Like you looking inside of a fucking clear transparency overhead projector, like you see straight through him, like it's nothing there. Like Kanye. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Man. <laughs> Shit is crazy. And um this ain't just the this ain't just something that's just new. Shit like this been going on. They just, you know, in different ways. People selling out, willing to do whatever just to sell, just to sell they sold, just to sell out. Say nothing but a real one. And with the pandemic and, you know, a lot of shows not being, you know, a lot of events not be, being able to be held, you know, because of the pandemic slowing things down. It's affecting a lot of people. And me in my mind, I'm thinking like, man, like, 
people should be back on the road doing a lot of shows. Like things should be, you know, closely getting back to normal, but it's not. It feel like it should. Cause it's the corona shit been around since forever. Feel like it. So you would think that people would be back on the road getting money and some and a lot of some artists are. But it's some artists that are not. That's why I want to tell people, like, man, if you're going to do this music shit, you got to make sure that you really, like, have a passion for it, man. Because if you're doing this for the money, you in the wrong business. Why you think artists like Dave East acting? Why you think rappers are actors, too? <laughs> music shit ain't making, I mean, if you ain't making no money on the road, and especially because of this pandemic, you ain't really getting the income like, like you're supposed to. So you got to deal with another thing. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. That acting shit, is, it, it, look, it looks fly on TV, but that's some long, boring work. I've been on set as an extra, and I was like, after one year of that, I was like, uh-uh. I ain't doing this shit no more unless I'm getting an audition. Unless I'm actually reading the script, reading the line, and still like, you know, it's still a boring job, but I mean, it's fun after you go back and look at your work on the fucking TV screen. But when you're doing it, it's work. And don't get me wrong, I give 100% of whatever I do, if not more. But it's still boring though. But, like I'm saying, why you think rappers break off into other things? There ain't no money in this music shit. Y'all want to do it because y'all like seeing the shit that y'all see on social media. Like they performing. You know, they, they got the song. You know, they got the beat. You know how much, you know how long of a process that is? You know, to get these right songs to the right people. And for them to play. And the radio ain't even the same like it used to be no more. They playing the same shit over and over. So it's like... It's kind of hard to, for your song to break through. It's all no matter who you know. And that's still gonna, that still may take some time for your song to get in rotation. But if you're real cool with the strip club DJ, or whoever that, you know, own a strip club, you can get your shit cracking right there first. But everything still takes time. You gotta maintain these good relationships. Not saying kiss nobody ass, no, but you know, still maintain good business relationships with these people. Shit is crazy. So you gotta ask yourself, do you really wanna be an artist or do you just like seeing what you're seeing and thinking that, okay, since it's look, since it's, this looks cool, I wanna try. Cause if you got that mentality, you're in the wrong business. You better at writing than you are performing or being an artist. Do the songwriting part. Because that's where the real money is at. From royalties, it goes to publishing. Things like that. It may take some time for you to receive those checks in the mail. But those are the, those are the big checks. So, when you're just an artist, you're only going to see like a certain amount that you make. And if you like with a label, of course, them getting their percentage out. So you just left with the scraps. If you with a label, if you're independent and you got your own fan base, that's great. All your money and all your shit gonna come back to you, of course. But you have to put the work in. And if you don't mind working, which it is, it's gonna be work regardless. You're gonna have to get on that stage consistently and perform these songs. So it's gonna be work regardless, but you gotta love what you're doing. Like they say, you love what you do, it's not work. Yeah, man, so. I just want these fans and these, you know, these people. And it's different from, different between fans and supporters. Fans are somebody who faint and they just fall out when they see tears rolling. And it's okay for kids to act like that because they don't understand. They're looking at these people on social media, on TV, they like stars. Kids don't know. Well, I'm talking about these adults. That's who I'm talking to. Stop acting like y'all ain't got the power when y'all do. Y'all stop supporting that artist. <laughs> hey, 
he or she is going down, down, down. So just have some respect for y'all self and stop acting like y'all ain't got no damn sense when y'all at these concerts. When them artists be telling y'all, you know, to turn up. Y'all can yell and scream and do that and turn up. But don't let it lead to nothing physical to somebody fucking dying. Just because an artist wants y'all want blood. Y'all heard what that fool said. You wanting your fan to turn up is one thing, but that nigga said, I want blood. I ain't never been a fan of him anyway. It's not my type of music. But that's music like mainly for, I don't know, like, like I've seen a lot of white people. <laughs> that cry. Let me just say that. So... Is Travis Scott responsible? Hell yeah, he responsible. Like I said, you speak that shit, you speak that bad energy out into the damn air, and you the one with the microphone, and a lot of people listening to you because they fans of you. And look what happened. Damn shame, man. Deja vu all over again. This is all a rerun. I can change the channel if y'all want to. But that rerun ain't going nowhere. Still gonna be playing on the airwaves. And y'all remember that. This is Sensei TV. And this is your host, the one and only, Sensei. Y'all like the video? Subscribe to the channel. And I got more heat coming for y'all. I got more fire for you. Let's get it together. <laughs> I can only hope y'all get it together. Live. Love. Laugh. I don't know what time. Peace. I know that bad thing. You know, so I'm aware. That's why I was just like, man, but when I do my shows, I be so turnt, man. Like, It's a, it's a, it's another level. Yeah. With Travis Scott's on it's stage. Like, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not like the guy that got like, you know, I had a backup dancers. I ain't got the drummers and that. No. I'm all about the blood. You know, we got to turn up. The you blood. Know, all about rage. <laughs> blood, blood. And just like the, Who's bleeding on stage? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not bleeding, but the fans are like <laughs> I feel you. giving their bodies. So. It's like, we just got to be a